hello and welcome to today's video. We are here for our week one of the playoffs for the Overwatch League power rankings. Now, power rankings for the playoffs are a little bit different. Especially for the first round, we get a rank six teams and only four played. And also, we don't have records and all that to go with because it doesn't really matter. What really just matters is who won and lost. So, right now, I would take a look here. I got everything pulled up. We can go over who played and what day and all that stuff. But number six is the Boston Uprising. The Boston Uprising entered the playoffs as the three seed. And things did not go well for them. I believe they were the three seed. Their record was 26 and 14. They played against the Philadelphia Fusion, who were 24 and 16. No, wait. Boston Uprising was 26 and 14. Oops, messed that up. All right, so. The first match went the way of the Philadelphia Fusion, and basically, it went four maps. Philly claiming Dorado, Boston getting Oasis, Philly then winning Eckenwald, and Volskaya, which Boston had never lost on, uh, or they hadn't lost in a while until they played that. Then they played again on Friday, two different times. Boston claiming the first win to force that third game. Winning Junkertown, Lijong Tower, losing Kings Row, and then winning Hanamura. They then lost 3-1. to one After winning Junkertown and then losing to Philadelphia on the last three, Lijong, Eckenwolt, and Hanamura. <laughs> so, that put Boston in the sixth spot. Then that put Philadelphia in the fourth spot. I feel like they're better. Well, obviously they're better than the Gladiators, but they're still the weakest team that is in the competition. So that is why Philadelphia is fourth and Boston is sixth. So number five, we have the Los Angeles Gladiators who play the London Spitfire this week. Los Angeles Gladiators entered as the four seed, 25 and 14. And the London Spitfire entered as the fifth seed, 24 and 16, holding the tiebreaker over Philadelphia. That's how they got the fifth seed. They had 33 map differential compared to Philadelphia's only 13. So the Spitfire lost 3 0 to the Los Angeles Gladiators. After winning, <laughs> no, they lost Junkertown, Legion Tower, and Kings Row. So they got 3 0. Then on Saturday, they won 3-0 against the Los Angeles Gladiators, giving them their first win over the Gladiators in the entire season. They had not beat them all season until today. Or Saturday. Today. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> they beat them in that match. Till that match, they'd never beat them. Winning Dorado, Oasis, and Eckenwald. And then... Going... To play again, because they had to win two matches... As they won Junkertown, Lijon Tower, and Kings Row. Now, of course, you guys know the way this works. It's the first team to win two series in best of five. So the first one to win three maps two times, basically, is what happens. So that's why I put the Gladiators in fifth and the Spitfire in third, especially after their play on Saturday. Two 3 0 victories in a row against a team they never beat. Puts them in a good spot. To go far in the playoffs. So. That's sort of how that works. So again. On Wednesday. Philadelphia Fusion beat the Boston Uprising 3-1. And then the Los Angeles Gladiators beat the London Spitfire 3-0. Then on Friday. Boston beat Philadelphia 3-1. Then Philadelphia beat Boston 3-1. Advancing to their next matchup. Which we'll talk about in a moment. And then again, London, Spitfire, two times, beat Los Angeles Gladiators 3-0. Now, my thing with the Gladiators, I don't really know why Fisher didn't play. There was a lot of things with that that was on Twitter. There was one guy who was saying that he was not playing because he was mad about the team and whatever, like, saying it's Kawhi Leonard of Overwatch League, whatever, things like that. Um, of course, basketball references, if anybody didn't know. Um, but things like that. But then Fisher came out and said it was for the team. They thought I remix was better to play. 
<laughs> which I don't know why you'd pick Ivory Remix over Fisher, but yeah. So question on decision a little bit, uh, especially when they added Fisher in and it helped the Gladiators. They would definitely not have been in the playoffs had they not added Fisher from the Spitfire. So kind of a weird decision there, but I don't know. We'll we'll never really know why they did that decision, but it's pretty bad. Uh, but now if we look at our power rankings. Uh, so we have 6th, Boston Uprising, 3rd, Los Angeles Gladiators, 4th, Philadelphia Fusion, 3rd, London Spitfire, 2nd, we have the Los Angeles Valiant, they entered with the 2nd best record, of course they did not play this week, so we don't have maps to talk about, but they are 27 and 13, so I just put them there, and of course, New York Excelsior, number 1, 34 and 6, again, they didn't play, uh, but, you know, the best two teams gotta be the top two. <laughs> You know, it's kind of the thing. Uh, we'll see how the power rankings change, though. Of course, this is the last time that we'll talk about uh, these teams. The Gladiators and Uprising for a while. Uh, we'll be back, though. We will definitely be back. Because we have something to talk about at the end of the season. We're going to do a power rankings. Where we rank all the teams at the end of the season. I thought that'd be pretty cool. So, again, Uprising in 6th. Gladiators in 5th. Fusion in fourth, Spitfire in third, Valiant in second, and YXL in first. So we'll look at next week's matchups. Can I just like see next week's matchups? Here we go. This is what I want to click on. That's not the one I want. All right, I want this one. So on Wednesday, July eighteenth, seven, not seven, eight p.m. Eastern time. Philadelphia Fusion, New York Excelsior, square off the number one seed against the number six seed. And then on the 18th at 10 p.m., it's the London Spitfire and Los Angeles Valiant. That is the two seed against the five seed. And the winner of that match, the winner of those matches has an advantage. Then on Friday, London Spitfire and Los Angeles Valiant play. The 20th at... 7 p.m. The thing is, is they could play again at 9 p.m. that day. Not really sure about that, but they could. And then on Saturday, Philadelphia Fusion, New York Excelsior, they face off at 7 p.m. And then again at 9 p.m. if it's needed. So the winner of those matchups, the winner of the Fusion, Excelsior, and Spitfire Valiant will be playing for the championship in New York City. And that will be 26th, right? <coughs> I think so. Can we go there? Yes. It will be the 27th and 28th. Okay. Friday the 27th and Saturday the 28th. They'll be playing for the championship. And we'll find out who is the Overwatch League champion. So you have two more weeks of power rankings. We'll have power rankings after next week. After our... Rankings of the four teams, and then we'll have one after the ranking of two teams, which will be very, very interesting. We'll talk about who the champion is, and then we'll have one more power ranking for that. But we will only have a few more power rankings because we got those two, and then we'll do our final ranking of the year. We will rank all the teams. Actually, are we going to do that? I'm not sure. We may, we also may not because we kind of ranked the teams at the end of the season. And I think a power rank at the end of the season is just where they finish in the standings, most likely. So that's the thing. I'm not really sure if we're going to do anything for the Overwatch World Cup, power ranking-wise. We'll do videos about it, but I'm not really sure what we're going to do with that. Um, but yeah, that's the thing. So, a couple more weeks of power rankings. Week 2 and Week 3. And then we're done with Overwatch League here. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the matches again. 8 p.m., Eastern Time on July 18th, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, July 20th, and 7 p.m. Eastern Time on July 21st. You guys can watch those. Is that Eastern Time? It may not be. No, it definitely has to be. I'm surprised that on Saturday it's at 7 and not 4. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. And we'll see you guys in the next one.